there is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. Cheeky. <laughs> Does your cat like lasagna? Hit us up! Ah. It's, it's t- uh, Twilight pornography, they say. <laughs> no, no, really! <laughs> NCR Bob! Newport City Radio. Radio. Live from the red carpet of Pilgwenly. <laughs> it is going to be so spectacular. We're having a bit of a mashup at the moment. Original soundtrack alongside these is one cut jam. We just had these is one cut jam with mm-hmm. Gareth, but right now it's original soundtrack. Woo! I love with, you, King Bob. With King Bob, <laughs> the Snapback <laughs> Warrior, and Gareth Willie. That's the one. So I'm going to play my little jingle. Just gonna love it. It's me. <laughs> this is a show where I play all the tracks and tunes from your Hollywood favourites. Sometimes they're films in Hollywood, sometimes they're films, you know, that have, that have gone. They're not outside Hollywood. Mmm, but- cheeky. On the show, we've got a couple of things coming up. We're going to be cl- playing a, cu- a few games. Mm. Playing a... Uh, oh! Who said that in? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? I played... Oh! Who said that in? <laughs> we'll also be playing a bit of a casting call. And we're going to be talking about a couple of things about Hollywood at the moment. We're not, well, we're not going to talk so much about Hollywood right now. I mean, we're going to pretend that films like Pixels, Fantastic Four, Vacation aren't happening right now. Okay. Right? We're going to pretend that's not happening. They're gone. But, you know, we got some things coming up like Inside Out, mm-hmm. you know, uh, We're Your Friends, yep. and, uh, in, and Escape's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. But again, I have to stress, we will pretend that films like The Bad Education Movie and, uh, and absolutely everything don't exist. They, okay. They, that hasn't happened. But it's fine because Netflix, you know, has come out recently with a few more disappointing uh, sequels for their library. Things, oh, right. You know, things like Kick-Ass 2, The Hobbit, Battle of the Five Armies, you know, all those kind of films. I mean, less of the Kick-Ass 2, though, because for me, I think I'm just bitter because Matthew Vaughn didn't direct Kick-Ass 2. I mean, he directed, oh, okay. you know, he directed Stardust, um, uh, X-Men, uh, First Class, you know, all those great films, and Kick-Ass 1, but he didn't come back for the sequel, so it's not, it doesn't really oh. have the same feel as, it, uh, as, okay. as the last one. Well, no, it wouldn't. A director is everything, really. No, they change things as they go, they change yeah, a bit it, of the script. It's all about the mood, you know? Yeah. But we're going to kick the show off with first song, Skilo, I Wish, from American Pie of the Naked Mile, and we're going to be cracking on straight after that with, oh, who said that in? <laughs> we'll and you can you join afterwards. in with that as well. You can join in at home. All right, then, so let's start with our first juicy jam. Oh! Mmm, jam. Hey, this is radio station WSKEE. We're taking calls on the wish line, making your wacky wishes come true. Hello? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked... Newport City Radio. I'm not talking about no $20 up in here, backseat of the car, mm-hmm. stanky, stanky, hanky, panky. <laughs> nah, he ain't not. No. I'm talking about good, wholesome, Fortified with eight essential vitamins, love. Yeah. He's talking about love. You know what time it is, guys? Oh, shut that up. Well, that kind of answers my question. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. Who said that? Up? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very special time where I play a game with Gareth. But he's got to guess the film from the movie quote, and I am the uh, the lovely host. <laughs> this is a nice tune. This is, uh, yes, it's a Cantina band. We're, we're in Mos Eisley right now, actually. We're, oh. we're in Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, we, we travel across time just to get here for this game. Mm. So, Gareth, I uh, I hope you've been practicing. Practicing what? <laughs> because there's going to be a consequence if you lose. What is week. it? So, if you don't get the majority of these quotes, right, then you are going to have to do consequence. But if you beat the majority and you get at least three out of the five okay yeah I have to do the consequence sounds good so do you want to know the consequence is mm, the loser <laughs> has to go up to strangers in the street and say movie quotes to them <laughs> I'll be filming it and I'll be putting up on the MCR on the Newport City Radio Facebook and Twitter at Newport City Radio or forward slash Newport City Radio um, and you can let us know how you do at home you can play along so you can tweet me at MCR or at GMC Gareth yep so are you ready we're going to start with the first <laughs> quote by the way, this is the first time I've heard about this consequence. <laughs> you didn't tell me this back there. <laughs> okay, okay, start with the first quote. Be so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Yeah, Despicable Me, I know that one. <laughs> That's the first one, isn't it? Despicable Me, he's got it! Bing! 
Oh, oh you've gone! I got it! Surprise, surprise. I got, I got all these settings ready, I got everything. I've even got one when you fail. And, and I will be playing it. I can't wait because you will fail. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might be doing good. I made it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so start with, sorry, you're one out of five. Uh -huh. Going for the second quote! Meta Man, Express Elevator, Diner Guy, Snag on Takeoff, Splashdown, Sucked into a Vortex, No Kicks! That sounds like a similar thing, like animation. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say, Cool Run-Ins, which I know isn't an animation. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that is really sad. That sounds like, you know when you play Rayman on PlayStation One and he dies. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. Rayman just died. Yeah, it was The Incredibles. Ah, oh, I should have stuck with the animation. Edna Mode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on one one. I'm on one. Yep. You're on one. Whew. Okay then. We'll go with the next one. The third quote. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, dee dee dee, there they are, standing in a row. Are these old children ones? Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Ah, oh, man. I made this really easy for you, and I can't is it, believe... Is it over the hedge? Ah! Mm -hmm. oh. oh! I can't believe you, Gareth! What was it? I'm gonna kick myself. Yeah. It was, uh, it was Lion King. Ah! Oh. Lion King, Lion it's been King. years, it's been like 15 years it's, since uh, I watched that. It's from the boot played by Ron Atkinson, so he's like stuck in the cage with Scar. Alright, so we're on 2-1 to me. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're getting close. Getting close to the public humiliation! Tweet me, help me, tweet me the answers, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, you've got two to recover yourself. If you can get these two, you win. Okay. Okay, here comes the fourth one. Fine day, Sunday. In my opinion, best day of the week. Why is that, Dudley? Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. <laughs> Harry Potter, isn't it? That part of the end gave it away. Yes! Oh, it's it! He's on 2-2. Two, 2 two to me and 2 to Gareth. What Harry Potter is it? It was the first one. Plus, I should have made you answer that. That could have been a you make or break situation. But you didn't. No, I didn't. I slipped on that one. But it's a tiebreaker. It's a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. This final one. Woo! I've got a sound effect just to make it a little bit more epic. Okay. The tiebreaker. <laughs> wow, that was. Who, if you get this one, mm -hmm. I'm the one doing the consequence. Yes! Alright then, here's okay. the final quote so you can get it. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Is it Mrs. Downfire? No! It's Robbie Williams, isn't it? It's Robin Williams. It's not. No, it's Gene Wilder in Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Oh, no. Yes! No! Yes! So that means Gareth is going to be going out in public and saying <laughs> movie quotes to strangers. I can't wait. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to be posting that up on the Facebook page and the Twitter at, N at Newport City Radio or at forward slash Newport City Radio. How do you do at home? Let us know how you did uh, at NCR Bob, or at Newport City Radio. But now, here is Cypress Hill, uh, when the shiz goes down. From This Is The End, we'll be back in a bit. Your city, your sounds, Newport City Radio. Are you telling me that you are not... Yeah, I'm not a woman. White? <laughs> oh, the, the deception! The betrayal, man! You deceived me! Calm down, I'm an FBI agent. I was uncovering a. Negro, please! <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, White Chicks, wasn't it? That was White Chicks, Love yeah. That film. Welcome, everyone, to Original Soundtrack! The show where I play all the tracks and tunes of your Hollywood favourites. I'm joined today by Gareth Willey! Woo! We're out a bit of a mashup at the moment. We, yeah. have, we have these Season 1 Cup Jam for yep. 3 to 4, and 4 to 5, you are stuck with me! Oh, no. King <laughs> Bob, the Snapback Warrior. Now, Gareth, Inside Out has uh, has just uh, hit the cinemas. Yes, and yeah. I how, saw the trailer earlier. Uh, how excited are you as an adult? As an adult, film? I'd say I'm not completely excited, but I'm a bit excited. Oh. I won't go to cinema to see it. Really? See, like, I've been watching all the trailers, and I'm so excited to go watch it. Really? Like, I don't know why. Like, I It does look different to see your everyday story. Yeah, but I, like, I don't normally, like, I, I normally hate animations, you know? I never watch them. I'm really reluctant to watch it, but when mm. I do watch it, I'm like, okay, that was nice. You know, that's good, like, Wreck-It Ralph, Rango, you know, all those kind of films I've been watching, um, where, you know, people have had to get me to watch, you know? Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, Inside Out is the first sort of animation I've been uh, willing to watch. Oh, okay. 
Uh, now, Sounds in good. the film, we have the five emotions. Joy, anger, sadness, fear, and my favourite, disgust. Uh, <laughs> from uh, from what you've seen, though, which would be your favourite? Fear. fear. Uh, the guy, because he's a bit nerdy. Yeah. And he's a bit, like, sort of, sort of shy, and it'll be good to see him come out of his shell during the movie. Yeah, but it's quite a funny character. Yeah, see, like, I love disgust. It's just like it, it's so it's too me. It's so too <laughs> me for me to like. <laughs> it's like a part uh. where like they come up with like broccoli pizza and disgust is like I'm done. Just like walks out. Just like <laughs> ultimate. Just like I oh, yeah, just just screw. It, I'm done. <laughs> just the nope fact is right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like if you have like which would be driving you though? Like what would be in your head? Like which one? Oh, oh, I don't know. What were the emotions again? Well, I suppose joy. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's joy, anger, fear, sadness, and disgust. Shh. I'd say joy, yeah, because joy. I'm I'm always enthusiastic, oh. hyped up on coffee or hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. Jo- I'd be joy. What about the people at home? Yeah, so um, let us know what uh, emotion is driving you. Definitely at NCR Bob or at GMC Gareth or at Newport City Radio. Um, you see, like things. I think I have like a secret. Um, like emotion in me I think it's like hunger you know <laughs> just some like fat one you know like from uh, like like the guy Lilo and Stitch with the ice cream just right. like <laughs> so like do you order like takeaway a lot and stuff mm, well I came into the station with a McDonald's yeah guy. I mean it doesn't really get any better than that <laughs> I'm a frappe. He had the whole lot. He really went for it. The thing is, I think they could have had a whole lot of emotions. You know, they could have had like guilt, jealousy, sass. They could have. There had are a lot in there. Yeah. You know, like if there was an extra one, what, what one would you add? Ooh, tired. <laughs> just like, oh, I can't do this. I'm just gonna watch Scrubs and lay back in bed in my pajamas. Yeah. That's what I do sometimes. Pass- <laughs> it passes a lot of hours watching Friends and Scrubs at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like, Pixar are coming out with like, all sorts of uh, films in the future too. You got like Toy Story Four coming out, Cars mm. Three, Finding Dory, but the best one, The Incredibles Two. Yes, I heard the about this. Two! And they're all coming out 2016, oh, isn't that right? Yeah, like 2016, 17, maybe yeah. 18. You know, it's coming in the next two, three years. You right. Know? It Think takes a while to make an animation. Like, I want Edna to be the leading role of Incredibles Two. Okay. You know, you know the fashion woman Edna. It's been you know? so long. Yeah, I remember the sort of like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the posh like one. The ugly Betty one just like, oh, yeah. yes, darling, yes. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, darling, no, no. Like, we need we need an Edna movie. We need Edna to have her own solo film, like her own spin off. <laughs> what do you think? Edna mode. Oh, I've got it. We're, we're, we're going to Hollywood. We're, we're selling it. We're pitching it. Whilst we do that, though, we're going to be listening to a bit of uh, James Brown Living in America, which ironically is the fourth song of the set, and it was featured in Rocky Fower. Weird. Bit of a coincidence. It was yeah. spooky. We'll be back in a minute, and we're going to pitch this film to Hollywood and to Pixar. (laughs) Edna Mode! It's going to be great. See you in a bit. Your city, your your, your sound. Newport City Radio. The power of Christ compels you! Oh, does it? Does it compel me? The power of Christ compels you! Does it, Jay? The power of Christ compels you. Is the power of Christ compelling me? Is that what's happening? The power of Christ <laughs> compels you. Guess what? It's not that compelling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary movie. And no, it's from This Is The End. Oh. But Gareth, I don't think you know what's coming over the horizon. Oh, I don't think you can uh, even stop it, Gareth. Oh, I can see it. There it is, Gareth. What is it? You better watch out. Oh, oh my god! Here it comes! Wow, what's going Cassinkle. on? Cassinko! Woo! Here it comes! Cassinko, everybody! You're like, so dramatic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Gareth, I've got one question for you. Yeah? What are those? What? What are those? What does that mean? <laughs> Have you not been uh, keeping up with uh, Vine lately? No. Oh, it's, uh, it has been uh, like a load of Vines now where people sort of slam each other's shoes. Screaming one of those. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to be playing a game called Casting Call. It's the, the game where um, the guests are given a plot synopsis, a film synopsis, and you have to pick the worst cast members to play each role. An example would be maybe a, uh, a spy film about a spy who has to stop an evil CEO of a toy company, Dr. Snuggle Bear, you know? Okay. Uh, like, you can cast the spy as, like, Stephen Hawking. And, uh, right. and Dr. Snuggle Bear can be played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? Like, That'd be okay. funny. <laughs> okay, so get ready, Gareth. Okay. Because we're about to start the first film. And you guys can play at home. If you want to tweet me your casting calls at NCR. Boop! Yes, definitely. We can, uh, we can start playing. All right, then. So get ready. Here is the first film synopsis. 
Ooh. Donny is just your average cop with Down syndrome. Oh. After a long car ride, he befriends his arrested crook, Methhead Maxi. <laughs> They both discover the importance of friendship in this Oscar-winning family film. Uh, Downs to the station. Will Ferrell has got to be the cop. Because he seems like he has Down syndrome anyway. He's just always funny and <laughs> he seems dumb. Um, not saying people with Down syndrome are dumb, but he's, he's got that sort of characteristic. Um, you know, and for the meth head, it'd have to be um, that guy um, off Ace Ventura. What's his name? Oh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yeah. Because he always seems <laughs> he's like he's on meth. That. He's off his nut, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, like, I'm thinking Donnie could be played by Daniel Radcliffe, the guy who played Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the meth head or the cop, do you mean? Uh, just as Donnie the cop, yeah. Oh, so, right, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's Harry Potter with Down syndrome. you be like uh, a nerd trying to arrest you, really. And, uh, and then meth head Max would be played by Sylvester Stallone, the guy who plays Rocky. <laughs> The cop would have no chance. <laughs> just like, and then like, and just imagine Daniel Radcliffe, like, you know, because uh, like, like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was trying to play like um, the kid um, with Down syndrome. Um, yeah. Like, imagine Daniel Radcliffe trying to do that and holding hands with Sylvester Stallone, like yeah. running down like a, like skipping down like a, a, a streetway, like for a trailer, like, <laughs> slow motion with like a rainbow going over, like down to the station. <laughs> the ideas you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go on to the second casting call. Okay, dokie. Okay. Oh, guess me every time that music. Trio girl band tour the Middle East and get stranded and caught up in the middle of a religious war. Oh. They all have to survive in an empty house for eight days. Jesus. In this action thriller. Totally Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> These should be actual films. Spoiler! Okay. One of the girls gets eaten by the other two. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, right, you know the girl off Mamma Mia, the, the singing one? Um, the old one? No, no, the younger one, the daughter. Ah, this is the thing, I love this game, but I don't know. Amanda... Is it Amanda Seyfried I've got here? Maybe, yeah. Okay, yeah. Girl from Mamma Mia. The one off Mean Girls. Yeah. Uh, it would have to be her to sing and annoy people, mm. uh, to annoy the other girls, and then she would be the one that's eaten, uh, that would be eaten, because <laughs> of her singing being so annoying. Yeah. Um, Who would the other two be? Shall I give you my own? What do you think it was? No, I'm going to say... Tom Cruise dressed up like a woman because <laughs> I was watching Rock of Ages the other day Yeah, and he's got long hair and he, he sort of looked like a woman to me with his piercings and stuff mm, yeah. I, him as a woman yeah. but he would have to actually play a woman okay, you know yeah. no one yeah. would know it was Tom Cruise because it would be that good yeah yeah um, third one I suppose you know the girl alright you know the, the big girl of Heat uh, yeah. Tammy yeah the one who plays Tammy her because yeah, she's she, hilarious she's rising up yeah and she would definitely want to eat someone <laughs> because, to stay alive you know yeah. <laughs> God, See, that's awful. I've uh, I've got Miley Cyrus. Oh god, that's good. Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah's gonna get eaten. <laughs> and, and Eddie Murphy playing a woman like he does like oh, bit. Because Eddie Murphy he always oh, yeah. he always plays like other characters, like, yeah. in, like you know, all the kind of things. And I thought, okay, Miley Cyrus would be the one to get eaten. So you'd imagine Oprah oh, okay. Oprah and Eddie Murphy's character would like team up like oh girl like, mm, and like the girl has Miley, eat that bitch. Let's, let's see, uh, like, <laughs> She looks so damn good, like a chicken. Mm, mm. <laughs> like, I love, like I love Miley Cyrus, um, but th- she stands no chance against Oprah and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Who would you guys cast? Te- uh, tweet me at NCR. Bop! But now I'm going to give you uh, 5446 was my number by Toots and the Maytals, as featured in This Is England. Oh. We'll see you in a bit. Sing it up, mister! Your city, your city, your saints, your saints. Newport City Radio. Newport City Radio. That would mean that you lied about your age to make yourself older. But why would any woman want to do that? Why, God? I changed it so I could get married. And the truth <laughs> shall set you free! <laughs> if there's anyone crazier than you, it's that guy. And the truth shall set you free, Gareth. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Original Soundtrack, where I play all the tracks and tunes from your Hollywood favourites, or the blockbusters! We also yell a lot. We do, and I'm joined with Gareth Willie! Hiya! Hello Gareth, Sky Movies has just added her to their library. Oh right. And uh, I've got to say, it is a great film. 
Um, yeah. You know, it, it's about a man who falls in love with his AI computer, yeah. like operating system. Like, have you seen it? Have you heard of it? I saw the trailer. It seemed weird to me. <laughs> How could you do that? Like, How could you fall in love with a Siri? Like, yeah, so like the film's about um, a guy who falls in love with his AI. Like, AI being like artificial intelligence. Uh, so a robot with a living conscious. Um, How do they, like... <laughs> you know... <laughs> I mean, you fall just as in love with Scarlett Johansson's voice as he does. You know, it's Theodore, <laughs> played by uh, uh, by Joe Quinn Phoenix. Um, like, I think the most intriguing aspect of the film, though, is that um, it's directed and made by um, Spike Jones. And oh, right. He's um, he's a, a pr- ex pro BMXer who you started uh, working on Jackass. Oh, you right. You know the show Jackass. I uh, love Jackass, Jackass. Spike Jones is um, he's one of the people, one of the crew on that film. Uh, oh, on, right. On the, on the show. Um, and to go in, now he's made her, and he's, he's an Oscar-winning really? director now. After, like, filming themselves doing all those stupid stunts. Yeah, so he wasn't, um, you know, the people doing the stunts, but he was, he'd, was he like, join in sometimes. You know, like, sometimes the producers would join in. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, he, he I remember he played this, like, character called Gloria, who, like, she he, like, wore this fat suit as a granny suit, and he'd go out and tend and stuff. Was he the big guy that kept throwing up? No, no. This is camera guy that keeps throwing up. Oh, it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, do you think you could fall in love with a robot, Gareth? No. No? Uh, no. I mean, some people already have, if, if you know what I mean. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Shout out to Emily and Mr. Pink. <laughs> what? But no, like, you know, let me know uh, what you guys think at home. Like, would you be able to fall in love with your phone if it had AI? You know, mm-hmm. like, what would your, like, say like you did fall in love with your phone, you know, what would your AI partner be? Like, you know, if you if you did fall in love, what would your robot partner be like, Gareth? Uh, ooh have to be silver <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be my phone because my phone's always close to me but what, what would his personality be ah oh, god that's a hard one what would it be like you know would it help you a lot with this with the daily day schedule you know or would it just well, or would it recommend like like i would fall in love with my spotify if i could you know <laughs> it, oh it knows me spotify knows me okay <laughs> like it like it has this new feature like discover now or discover playlist oh. and it'll it'll make me a playlist every week suggesting films and uh, not films sorry uh, songs that i'll like and it's it, very nice of it's it. a hit every time oh it, cool it knows me okay <laughs> it knows just the songs i want to hear um I, when you mentioned the schedule and thing i suppose it would be like you know the hot blonde receptionist it would be her <laughs> obviously without the body it would <laughs> yeah. be like have her sexy voice and her soothing voice and she could like read me bedtime stories to help me at night to sleep you know yeah so, um, yeah, there, there, there are some great films coming up, too, in the big screen, like Straight Outta Compton. Um, you know, that's the film ad- adaptation of the rap group, N.W.A. All right. Um, you know, and um, I'm going to be putting up a, tra- up a trailer of that up on the uh, Newport City Radio um, page, so you can have a watch of that. You know, it, it's, an, it's a film about, you know, the rise uh, to success and fame from the, the rap band N.W.A. All right. Um, yeah, and also, you know, we've got some other films coming up um, for A Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, I showed you the trailer before we had yes, the show, Gareth. that was hilarious. It's like Shaun of the Dead, really. Yeah, it's a it's a zombie comedy film. Like, um, like do you think um, that zombie comedy films are becoming, or just zombie films in general, are becoming oversaturated, do you think? Yeah, there's too many of them. a bit them. too much of it? I do believe that, yeah, because I watched, like, uh, it's called, something called Snow... It was like the Nazi... Dead Snow? Dead Snow, yeah. yeah. Nazi zombies. And I didn't like that. It was just for the effects. And mm, yeah. uh, it was just it was just so draggy. And it felt like The Walking Dead. For yeah. example, The Walking Dead. I've tried to watch that. But that's really draggy. It's getting draggy. Yeah, it, Nothing it's dragging happens! On. Yeah, like, it was fun at first, but now, like, I just don't care anymore, you know? I, I watched an episode. It was like a random episode because it was on TV. And some guy was, like, just unpacking this zombie, zombie's organs like a backpack. And that's what turned me off. He was quite gruesome. <laughs> they, they stretched stuff and... Oh. Yeah. And that's thing, but um, but no, a scout's guide to the zombie apocalypse is essentially about you know some scouts um, when the zombie apocalypse strikes, you know, um, and you know, it's a weird o- occupation to be at, you know. I, I think it's a nice quick, you know, you got films like Zombieland and Shaun of the Dead that are really up there. Like, do you think mm. this could be up there with those films? Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's hard to compete against Shaun of the Dead. That's the one everyone brings up because that's the, in my personal everyone, opinion, yeah. that's the best comedy zombie. There's always expectation. Everyone always looks up to it. Yeah. You know? But the thing is, like, what do you think the best occupation would be when the zombie apocalypse strikes, you know? What do you mean by that? What would be, like, what's the best job that you could have that would prepare you for the zombie apocalypse? So say, like, you're a fireman oh, and the zombie I apocalypse see. strikes, you'd be ready for that. Like, what do you think, like, say you, you could have any job and, and zombie apocalypse strikes, what job? A funeral director. <laughs> you know, director. You can just pre-pack yourself ready for when they, <laughs> you know, kill you. Oh, they don't kill you, do they? They bring you back. Um, well, yeah. Maybe I don't know something that involves like weapons, like uh, a tree chopper or something. Mm. 
It's hard to say tree chopper without like tongue twisting. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Like tree chopper. Ah, there we yeah. go. Tropper. Tree chopper. Weird, no? <laughs> say it at home. Why not? What about tree you, Ash? Tree chopper. Tree chopper. <laughs> Man, that's weird. Yeah, I know. I think I'd be a hairdresser. You know, you have the scissors, <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh my god! Have you seen? Uh, have you seen Hot Fuzz? With yeah. the, the big gardening clippers. Yeah. The gardening shop. That's got loads of tools. Yeah. But yeah, hair clippers. I suppose you've got scissors. Mm. But when, but now I say when. When the zombie apocalypse strikes, Gary, <laughs> where will you be? I'd probably come here and just broadcast live what's happening around me. But where will you <laughs> be when you find out? Like, when a zombie, like, when you first see a zombie, where will you be? What, what do you think the situation you'll be in will be? Ooh. Oh, I suppose I'd be popping into, like, Wilkinson's to get, like, a sandwich. <laughs> and then I go up to the till and it... The till, like, sort of person is laying on the floor, and I think, you're right, miss, and it just pops up from behind the desk, oh, like, rah, and I'd be like, oh, my God, bruv, you, what's happening? So, yeah, I'd be like, calm <laughs> go, down. Chav. You'd be like, I calm down. I know it's a Monday, but. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Go and have a sandwich. Go have on. mine. Have a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go instantly, Chav, like, yo, bruv, what are you doing? Mate, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, yo, so where will you be when the zombie pocket stripes? Hit me up at NCR. Boop! Or at Newport City Radio, or hit Gareth up at GMC Gareth. Yes, I think we secretly want a zombie, zombie apocalypse to happen. I certainly do, mm. even if it means death. See, I used to plan <laughs> it all the time when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> up next, we have Express Yourself by NWA to celebrate the new film coming out. We'll see you in a minute. Yo, man, there's a lot of brothers out there flaking and perpetrating, but scared to kick reality. Man, you've been doing all this dope producing, you ain't had a chance to show them what time it is. So what you want me to do? I'm expressing with my full capabilities, and now I'm living in correction no facility. Your city, your sound. Newport City Radio. I dated this girl for a while, and she was really a nasty freak. She just loved to get down with sex all the time. She was like... Any time of day, she was like, yeah, let's go. I'm so nasty. And I'd be nailing her. She'd be like, oh, you're nailing me. Cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> I literally just got it at the end. Is that the 40-year-old version? That is, yeah. Welcome, everybody. You're listening to Original Soundtrack with King Bob. Woo! And I love you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. You're right. That was, uh, that was a scene from 40-year-old version. A classic. Love oh, it. A little classic. Now, Gareth, I have some questions from our listeners. Really? Would you believe? I would believe. Questions! Now, uh, you have to answer for what you've done, Gareth. Okay, okay. You must pay for your crimes. Oh. The poor children. <laughs> Why, Gareth? Why? Uh, I didn't... What are you on about? I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> now, I have a question here from Ian, who asks, Are comic book blockbusters good or bad for the industry? Ooh. I say bad. No, no, no. Yeah, bad. See... <laughs> Ha! I'd say they're good for the industry, yeah, but bad for so uh, for um, society. Right. See, because anything that's bad for the industry, you know, must mean like it's not making it money. You know, it, the Hollywood blockbusters, you know, of comic book films, they're making so much money. Really, I didn't which, know. You know, that's the thing because you know they they sell us why they're making them so yeah. much. You know, you know, Avengers two, you know, that grossed so much money. You know, Avengers, ah, Captain America, you know, all these comic book films are grossing so much money. Right. Um, and if anything, in the eyes of the industry, that's a good thing. Because it's making money. Right, you know? no, I I like those films. I think that's a good idea. What I thought you meant was stuff like Kick-Ass and, like, what's the one with, mm. um... Ah, oh, Die Hard Guy. The Die Hard Guy? Die Hard. Red? Bruce Willis. Is it Red? Yeah, no, no, it's not Red. Um, It's like a comic book sh- film. It's, it's like a comic book, basically. I thought you meant those cheesy ones. The thing is, though, that, like, I think they work as well. Like, I love Kick-Ass and I love Scott Pilgrim, you know? Yeah. Just because they're not Marvel. I, I think th- they're good, yeah, as well. Yeah. Not too many um, of them. Basting, no, I think he means more Marvel films, you know, and DC, like because it's, um, it's taking over. Yeah, there's too many of them. It's, it's so oversaturated. But the thing is, though, it's making money, and everyone's, you know, ev- if people are making money off it, they're still going to do it, you know. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to stop it, stop watching them. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's easy can't. to make. It's easy to make a film out of a book or a comic book as well because it's already there. The story. Yeah, I just had a listen. I tell you uh, that the film was Sin City. You're on about the one yes, that's the one. Sin City. Yeah, that was uh, from uh, Ryan Benson. I didn't like that. I thought it was really cheesy. Yeah. Didn't like it, That's okay. personally. Yeah, I have another question now. Okay, then. From uh, from Sophie, who okay. wants to know, do you think it's right to remake old classics? Like Psycho, King Kong, Evil Dead. You know, there a lot of classic films that are being remade. Like, I know Point Break is being remade. And right. Point Break is one of my favourites. You know, I love Point Break, and I can't believe that they're going to be remaking it with new actors. I think there's no need. 
Yeah. I don't get it, you know? But well, I do get it because it's making money. Okay? It's one of those... It's another yes and no question. Yes, if the film was so old and the quality was so poor that it wasn't enjoyable. It's like a black and white old film. Definitely remake it with the new CG and stuff like that. Yeah, like, if it couldn't be what it was meant to be yeah. at the time, then sure, yeah, remake it. Like, you know, if, if it was a bad film. But if it's something like Point Break or, you know, if it's it a was classic. a classic, yeah. you know, because there's so many remakes happening there, like, yeah. then, you know, you should let, let it exist in the past and, you know, and let it live there. I don't think they should have remade Carrie. Because, no. to be honest, that was just the graphics. That It's a cult classic. Yeah. You can't mess with the cult classics no they're cult classics all right all right ash you can't mess with them ash please calm down you're scaring me <laughs> no that's it i'm gonna turn to a hulk which which you know they remade the hulk <laughs> they did yeah <laughs> they made like four hulk films haven't they oh, they've, they made uh, loads oh uh, no it's, it, it drives me nuts you know um because <laughs> i know they're, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be remaking psycho again psycho classic film you like it's it's an iconic film in film history, right. So when you when you're remaking it, it's only going to ruin the respect level it has for it. You know, mm. it's ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> right, okay. You know, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, I think it's bad. <laughs> um, unless, like I said, the film uh, just wasn't good quality and black and white or something. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're out of time. It has been a fun show this week. It has, yeah. And uh, I hope you've had fun listening. And if you um, if you've uh, missed us live, then the show's been podcasted. So that way you can listen wherever and wherever you want. But Bob, where can I find the podcast? You can find the podcast at YouTube, Ooh. on YouTube, and it'll be going up on SoundCloud. And in the future, it's going to be going on iTunes. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be exciting. You can listen to it on your iPhone, on your iPod, everywhere. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you've got YouTube, you want to type in uh, NCR original soundtrack yep then you're gonna find us up on there sounds good and uh, don't forget now that Gareth lost oh who said that in? oh yeah <laughs> meaning he has to go out and uh, talk to strangers and say movie quotes to them mm-hmm. uh, so check out our Facebook page uh, to see that it's forward slash Newport City Radio watch the space and you can check that out and uh, if you like the show then hit me up on Twitter at NCR Bob <laughs> Or like Gareth, no, at GMC Gareth. Gareth, you have, uh, you have Twitter and everything, don't Yes, you? at GMC Gareth or Facebook forward slash GMC Gareth. I'm on everything. He's on everything. Any social media. Yeah. Just type in GMC Gareth, I will be there. Yeah, and you got a Facebook photography page as well? Oh, you? yes, Gareth Willie Photography. Mm. Give it a like, some cool photos on there, yes. some scary stuff. Yeah, check him out. He's got some good stuff going up there, and I'm going to be working with him uh, on a new series as well. A little photo-, photo series as well, King of Newport, uh, what thing we're going to be working on. Yeah. Little idea we got going, so uh, keep checking on there. We're going to be having a bit of fun. Yeah, we'll keep the hush hush for now. Yeah, keep hush hush. You can find out what that is later. Watch this space. Mm. Yeah, also go to facebook.com forward slash Lazulite Films because i got big things coming up on there too. Awesome. So, thanks for listening. It has been Original Soundtrack, and we'll see you next time. Woo! See you guys. Leas. Bye bye. So, does evolution follow a steady progression, or does it proceed by leaps and bounds? Chop off the horse's head? No! And place it in the producer guy's bed! That's disgusting! Ah, me!